Hi, Jeff DeMore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today I want to show you CAC's adjustable bow rope um, for separating slit loops. I've done some separate videos where I've shown the adjustable bow roll, roll for taking wrinkles out of material, and I've also uh, done a separate video showing separating slit widths of paper material. Uh, this material that we're running today is a thin plastic film. This material is a low density polyethylene and it's uh, three mils thick. I'm going to show you how we can separate slip widths. Um, one of the things I want to say is that this machine is our YouTube machine. Um, it's not a slitter rewind. So what I'm not going to show is uh, perfect rolls of material uh, and uh, separate, separate slit rolls of material. This is not a slitter rewinder. This, uh, this machine uh, lacks automatic tension control. This is a pull-through machine, so there's no uh, divorcing of tension zones. There's no web guiding. Um, and the rewind is a single shaft, which is uh, not differential, which almost any slitting application requires differential rewind shaft. So and in fact, when we rewind the slit widths, they're just going to be built onto a, 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 a single core. So you'll see slit separation and you'll see separate rolls being built, but I'm not, we're not, again, it's not a slitter rewinder machine. It's not made for slitting and rewinding material. This machine is just a machine that we built that we call our YouTube machine that's used for uh, uh, demonstrating my products, my separate products on YouTube. So, um, this is CAC's uh, adjustable bow roll, and I'm gonna, I have separate videos showing more, in more detail how to adjust it, but I'm gonna give you a quick, a quick, uh, quick tour here now. The, um, right now this, this bow roll is adjusted so that there is no, there's no bow to it, so this, this knob is just uh, easy to turn, this is a fine thread, and then what we do is we use a, a wrench to adjust this screw. Now when you, when you adjust the screw, what you're doing, inside the roll you're actually bending steel shafts. So it takes a fair amount of force to do that, so you need, you need a wrench with a, a lot of leverage. You need a, a big lever arm, because you do have to apply a fair amount of force to get the, uh, the bow adjusted. So I'm going to show you that now. Right now this bow is straight, uh, I'm sorry, the bow roll is straight. So when you look at this straight edge, I put it up here, it's perfectly straight. It doesn't it doesn't rock back and forth, and there's no gap. So that's that's just like any other idler roll in the machine. When I take this wrench and I start to adjust, the bow roll, you're going to see it start to bow as I adjust it. you're going to see that bow roll actually bend. Now right now, that's, that's a fair amount of bow. Um, the maximum bow we get is about 5% of face. So if I take this straight edge and I put it back up on the bow roll, now you're going to see a gap from side to side because it's, it's bowed or it's bent quite a bit. Um, another adjustment on this roll is we can change the attack angle of this bow. So when I adjust this knob, um, you'll see that uh, I can rotate this bow 360 degrees by adjusting this knob. Now if you take a look at this key, this key is exactly opposite the bow. So wherever this key is, um, the bow is facing in the opposite direction. So right now the bow is facing in this direction where this key is. Now I can rotate it back and you can see how we get that rotation. So you can place that bow anywhere you want relative to the web in the machine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start this up or I'm going to, uh, actually I'm going to unadjust this bow and I'm going to adjust it to uh, where it's completely flat. So right now this screw uh, is, turns freely. 
So now that roll is completely flat. There's no, there's no bow to it. So we start up the machine. We're going to run very slow at first. And right now we're not doing any slitting. So this is CAC's inline slitting assembly. And I'm going to show this in a separate video. I'm going to show how this works. But now I'm going to introduce slitting into the web. So I'm turning on each slitter holder individually. And if you come over here, you look, you'll see there each you see each slit lane as I turned on those. You can see each lane that's slit. Okay? That's where I turned on those slit. Now, the reason you may want to separate slit whips is when you go to rewind onto a single rewind shaft, these edges of each slit whip could overlap. That can happen if you don't have a bow roll in place. And if these edges overlap onto a rewind, you won't be able to get the rolls apart. So bow rolls are, off, are used quite often for separating slit whips. In fact, right now, this bow roll is not doing any, any uh, slit separation. But if you look very closely, you'll see that this, this lane moved a little bit. So it's actually probably, uh, this one looks like it moved this way. Looks like this one moved in and you've got some edge overlap here. Now, when you go to rewind that, try to get those rolls apart, it might be impossible. So what bow rolls are used for is for separating those slippers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust this bow roll. I'm going to put a bow into it and you're going to see those, sep you're going to see those slit widths separate. And it doesn't take much bow to get slit separation. So that's nowhere near the maximum point. But you can see that we have a, a fair amount of slit separation. Now the way this roll works, the way bow rolls work to slit, separate slit widths and also to take out wrinkles, the way it works is when you bow this roll, you're changing the center line of the roll. You're bowing that center line of the roll. And each separate slit width will try to maintain a 90 degree angle to that curved center line. So this web, in essence, after it's slit, this is its own web. And it's trying to maintain a 90 degree angle to that curved center line. This one's doing the same thing. So that one's going this way a little bit. This one's going this way. Now this one's going this way, this way. And that way, and that's how we get slit separation. So you can see onto the rewind, you can see how those rolls are separated. That is really, that concludes our demonstration today. Um, oh, one of the things I want to mention is all of that, almost all of that slit separation in this. In this area, almost all of that slit separation takes place in the entry span to the bow roll. So, the longer this distance is, the longer the lead-in distance, which is the last fixed idler roll to the bow roll, the longer this unsupported web distance is, the more slit separation you'll get. And then, anytime you're separating slit widths, I always recommend using an adjustable bow roll so that you can adjust how much slit separation you get. If I detune this roll, if I turn it down, you will see those slits start to come back together. So as you can see, I just turned down the slit separation. Now they're much closer together. Uh, the other thing is, uh, we can run the machine faster. Right now it's going very slow, but we do have the ability to speed it up. So I want to thank you for watching the video. This concludes our demonstration of the adjustable bow roll used for slit separation. Thank you.